through cutting the length of steel here. So I thought I'd put a little, really, really super quick video up of how to cut a straight edge when you're cutting steel. I've got a, a death wheel there or just a cut off blade on a grinder. Now, because it's so small, there's no way you're going to get that to cut straight. If you look here, you see how that waves in and out if you look along the line there. Um, no idea have a go at cutting that straight, um, but I knew I was going to cut it by hand. So, what you do, you cut it really close to where you want to be um, with that, and then you cut it with a pair of 10 steps. This metal won't cut with 10 steps when you've got a big off cut. That's the size of the off cut over there. Um, it simply won't fold up and get out of the way as you're trying to cut it. So, you need to cut it, do a rough cut to start with. Um, it doesn't matter if you get a wobbly line as long as you don't go over your second scribe line. And then come back with the 10 steps. I'm using this brand if you're going to go down and buy 10 steps, buy decent ones because there's nothing like shoddy 10 steps. And this curls the steel as it cuts it. There are flat 10 steps, but they won't give you a good edge. Then you'll end up with a straight edge like that right on your scribed line. I've just used a straight edge and um, scribed the line along the steel. And again, to get it straight can even be hard. Um, I use a level, you've got it sitting over there because you can actually sit that in the corrugations and that'll give you a beautiful straight edge which you can then scribe off. So there you go, that's the secret of how to cut um, steel straight. Um, you cut it once with a blade, I've also got a circular saw here. You can ha probably have a go at cutting it straight with a circular saw. The longer the blade is, the bigger the width, the more chance you've got of going straight. Um, but with a little cut off blade, it's almost impossible. This is going up on doors so it needs to be a, a nice straight edge and that can only be achieved uh, with the 10 snips. So there you go, cut twice, get yourself a perfect line. Cutting the bottom off, I'm going to go for a different method. I've scribed it right across. This is easy with big corrugations, these are just little finger corrugations. What you do is you just drop the, um, the uh, cutting blade on your angle grinder here like that just um, drop it vertically down on the top of these um, so you're coming right down on the scribe each time and then just get bigger and bigger and join them together if you try and run you will tend to run off and end up with a wobble so um, just drop down on these 